Hey guys, it's Brian Mounts with TurfMechanic.com here. I want to demonstrate for you one of the main benefits of having green turf grass, green lawn grass in the middle of the summer, really throughout the year. But in the middle of the summer, this is when it's most applicable. I'm going to literally show you this benefit right now. And it has everything to do with cooling, the cooling effect of green grass. In this day and age where everyone's talking about global warming and temperatures rising, green grass actually makes the area around your house cooler. As you see up the hill, I've got a lot of, I'm going to call it no grass, a no grass zone. Now I'm seeding grass, but most everything up here for the past couple months have been no grass. I killed everything off so that I could seed a very low maintenance grass type on the entire hill, something that requires about 20% of the water of all other standard turf grasses. That's fodder for another video. But what you really, what I want to talk to you about right now is behind my chair up there. Let's go up there. Now it's 2.20 in the afternoon right now. Outside ambient air temperature is 99 degrees. We're supposed to get to 100. Now I put a thermometer in the soil and under the chair. So the ch this thermometer right here is actually kind of hovering a little bit above the ground. So it's in that inch or so above the ground. That's important. I put it behind the chair so that it was in the shade so that it wasn't getting direct sunlight blasted on the thermometer. So we could kind of check the ambient air temperature of about an inch off of the ground right now. Here we are, ambient air temperature right off of the ground is, what is that? about 103. I'd call it 103. The soil thermometer in the ground, which is plunged into the ground, the soil thermometer up here is showing temperature about 102. 102 degrees. Keep in mind, there is no green grass here. And once I move this chair like normal, normally that chair is not there. The sun is blasting the ground right here and everything is warming up. Now, as you see, way down there on the other side of the little tree is another chair. Let's go take a look. All right, here we are on green growing lawn grass. Same exact scenario. The shade of a chair, about an inch or so off the ground. Temperatures here, what is that? 91. 91 versus up there where there is no grass is 103. What about soil temperatures? Soil temperatures, right here, there it is. We're at about 94 degrees, maybe 95. So soil temperature up there was 100, 100, 101, something like that down here. It's about 94, 95, about 95 probably. Let's round it up. Soil temperature is higher over there. One inch off the ground air temperature is 12 degrees higher up there. And then you got to think to yourself, okay, well that's dirt. What about all those hardscape ideas that people decide to do? People want to put like gravel in or, uh, or just a lot of pavement or like, let's make our, let's make our driveway and patio extremely large. Let's take a look. Hey, look at that. It's another chair. In the shade of this chair, about an inch off of the patio. What's the temperature of this thing? It's about 107 degrees. What I'm trying to tell you is if you want green grass in your lawn, you can end up having a cooler environment. It's literally going to be cooler. Even if your ambient temperature up in the sky is 100 degrees, and I swear is 100 degrees. Let me show you. There we go. There we go, right there. 100 degrees, 99, I don't know, 99, 100, something like that. Pretty darn close. If your ambient temperature outside is about 100 degrees, if you have a hardscape surface somewhere where there's just, it's either paver patios or cement or rock, your temperature on the ground, the air, I'm not talking about like the cement, the cement will burn your, your foot. You walk on it like a barefoot, it's gonna burn it. 
but the air above it over here in my test is 107 degrees. Up there on bare dirt, it's 102, 103 degrees, whatever it was, I don't know. You remember, I just told you not that few minutes ago. 102, 103 degrees, the soil is 100 plus. But over here in the green grass, it was a comfortable zone in the mid to low 90s. So that's one benefit of growing turf grass. Everything is cooler just by having the grass on the lawn. Now, there are many other benefits. This is, uh, I don't know, this is just a, this is just a creature comfort benefit. Maybe someone out there could extrapolate some sort of like global benefit to this. But for me, in my yard, this is a creature comfort. I want to be a little bit cooler, even if the air outside is really hot. There are other benefits to this, and I've got an entire playlist about the benefits of lawn grass. Turf grass is what we call it. Turf grass is the stuff that we mow in our backyards. It's not the field grasses that you see out in the distance. It's different stuff. Turf grasses are what we want in our backyards. It's what some people don't like us watering and keeping green throughout the year. But I think that there's an enormous amount of benefit of it. And there's a whole bunch of benefits, short little videos like this in this playlist. Make sure to take a look at it. Thank you.